Every weekend, I host a server where a group of my friends goes head to head in a speedy challenge. This week's challenge was the Achievement Hunter, whoever has the most advancements and achievements before the 3 hour time limit runs out, wins the round. If you want to be a part of Speedy Saturday for Java or Speedy Sunday for Bedrock, follow the Discord link in the description and you can be a part of this too. While everybody started out mining to get their first gear, Jarno decided to take to the high seas and went hunting for shipwrecks because he wanted to go for hidden treasures and he found quite a few. Latnam and Inferno were the first players to find diamonds on the server, but it was actually Weber that got to the nether the fastest, and he found some quick enderpearls there in a piglin trade. Jarno was one of the first players to get a harder achievement when he played a game of tennis with a guest and got the return to sender. A few minutes later he would die in the nether, but he actually bounced back, started up in a village and got some new gear together after he managed to escape a throng of wild zombies. Most players out in the overworld, they all had to fight off their fair share of mobs, but since all of them got pretty solid gear, it was not too much of a challenge. Weber was trading blows with piglins. His relationship started off so well, but as soon as he invaded their bastion remnant, they got mad. Really, really mad. But Weep was up for it. He was ready. He was hiding in little pockets in the wall, sneaking into their chests and smashing their faces. Lyric was struggling a bit, however, and once the Hoglins smashed him into the lava lake below, he decided this wasn't his speedy Sunday. He threw in the towel and let the rest of them fight it out. With the server around the halfway marker, people were starting to experience major setbacks. Weep died in the nether. Chris wasn't making such good time because he was still in the overworld preparing. Cheese had hit mental rock bottom and was drowning himself at the beach. Weep, however, managed to turn it around and he got his stuff back at the Bastion. Shortly after, Weep managed to die again and his stuff was left on this little ledge over here which wasn't a problem because he knew the way but after taking a little bit of fire damage he decided to put his stuff down and actually kill himself in the nether so he could return with full health what he didn't know is that he didn't have so much time because Jarno was back in the nether and he actually found the location where Weep's stuff was and this is the moment where everything turned around. Because Jarno now had access to all Weep's gear and got the very rare, not quite nine lives achievement. By this time, Chris actually played himself back into the picture and became one of the front runners. Because he traversed the nether in very creative ways using fire resistance potions. And while everything was calm and relaxed in the overworld, he became the first one to find a nether fortress with all the achievements that you can only get there.
The return to sender achievement though, Chris couldn't get. Because the gas was bullying him and he decided to run for it. While Jarno, back in the overworld, was racking up achievement after achievement. He got a target block, got creative with it, and just kept on advancing. While Letnum also struggled playing tennis with a ghast. He got bullied just like Chris and decided to run for it without getting his return to sender. In a final attempt to find a fortress before the time ran out, Let tunneled his way through an enormous section of Netherrack. Came out on the other side, drank a potion, and took a dive. Despite his brave attempt, Let could not find the fortress. In a last desperate attempt, he tried to randomly find a stronghold by swimming across the ocean, but he never found it. So these turn out to be the final standings. <laughs> 